Yeah, so what I've got here, just I walked around my house and found all the phone stands that I've collected over the years, and I'm going to kind of talk about each one. So some of these were made, some of these were bought. Um, so when we're designing something, you don't always have to start from scratch. You know, you can take what's out there, you can see what you like about it, see what you don't like about it, and you can change that. You know, companies spend millions of dollars making products, so when they make them, they want to make sure that they work correctly. So, let's just break down some of these right here. I'm just going to use a phone stand to hold to look at my phone stand. So these three right here, these are all pretty new ones right here. So this one, obviously you can tell it's a Samsung. This one is, I believe, the Google. This is the Google Pixel one. This one right here is just a, uh, you know, cheap no-name one off of Amazon. All three of these are pretty nice because these are all actually wireless chargers. For our project, we're not getting into wireless charging because that's a whole lot of circuitry and stuff that we can't do. The whole part of our challenge is we're designing something from homemade materials. But you can see all these three. I'm just pulling out old cell phones that I also found. So they all three work pretty much the same way. You sit it on there vertically, horizontally. They all hold it about the same. You can see that this one is a steeper angle versus this one. And there's different reasons you might want a steeper angle versus a less steep angle. This one right here and right here, about the same. So those are some examples of just ones you can buy. Again, these are all wireless charging ones. Uh, this is another one that I found in my drunk drawer from years ago. Neat little thing about this one is it has these little brackets that can move around. Pretty fancy. Nice little feature about that. So you put in your phone and you actually squeeze it down and it can grip your phone. So that way, and I can rotate it, move it all around, position my phone however I need to. So a really nice feature, a little bit more complicated if I want to get that out. So the nice thing about that is if I had something smaller, so this old sweet iPod right here, you know, it can adjust different sizes for different things. So set that one aside. This one right here, you may have seen these floating around the tech lab a lot. These are one of the projects we do. So this one's just made from two pieces of wood, cut out, a little slot cut into it, and you can put your phone on there, vertically, horizontally, fold it all up, take it in your pocket so that's nice and portable. This one right here was literally just a chunk of wood that I cut a little hole into. Somewhat works if your phone's too big might not work too well. So that's where the stability issue comes in. So if you have a larger phone, that one might not work. Then lastly, I've got this 3D printed one right here that I designed. Using the 3D printer, 3D software. So this was all made in Inventor and then 3D printed. Uh, so one of the things you have to think about is not just is it going to hold a phone, but also how is it going to hold a phone? Um, do you want it to hold anything else other than a phone? So when I broke this all down, I talked, into, talked about you want to ask yourself those questions, that who, what, where, when, why, how, and all that stuff. Maybe you want it to do more than just a phone. So maybe I have... A calculator. I have my fancy calculator that I want to sit on my desk also. You know, this one will hold that calculator. 
But for example, this one is calculator is too big for it. Or maybe I want it to also hold post-it notes. And something like this little tiny one is great for something small like that. Or maybe I want it to hold a book as well. So here's a notebook as well. Or to make it a book stand. So you might not just be holding a phone, but you might also be using it for other things as well. I have one of these in my kitchen to hold a cookbook. Uh, another unique one, actually one of the phone stands I didn't show you. Hold on one second. So this right here is not a phone stand, but this is actually used to help soldering, to help hold things while you solder. It's just a little little vise, a little pan of vise. But I found that you can hold a phone in there, and I put some screws on the bottom. And then up here, on my little air filter, I've got some magnets. So now I can hold a phone up there if I need to. So if I wanted to put a phone right there, I can hold a phone up there. And I will show you why that's useful. Because now my phone is up there. So let me turn my light back on. So we're talking about a little bit about how you might get into designing something. Most of us have never really designed too much. And you might be thinking, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I have no idea how to design, how to come up with something. So how are we going to do this? So. Hopefully you can see. So, what are we doing? We're making a phone stand. So I'm going to write phone phone stand. All right. So I told you, good thing to keep in mind as you're going through the whole process is to break down what you want to talk or what you're doing in that who, what, where, when, why, how. So I'm just going to write all these down. So who, what, where, when, why, how. Not every project's going to need all of these questions. So Let's break this down. So what are we building? So we're building a phone stand. Another what is, might be, what else do you want it to do? So for example, my phone stand up there also works as a camera tripod. Maybe you want it also to hold books. So maybe a phone stand slash book stand. And this is just my example. You don't have to follow this. I'm just showing you how I would go through thinking about this. You can go in any order. It doesn't really matter. Again, some of these questions might not really matter. Who? Who is this going to be for? Is it for me? If it's for me, I might not really care how it looks. I just want something that works and doesn't really matter. If I'm making it for, you know, making it for somebody as a present, I might want to spend a little bit more time making it a little bit better. Uh, maybe they really like things that are purple, so I'm going to paint it purple. So you got to think about who's your target audience. 
when you get into the more business side of this, you're thinking, what do the customers want? So if I wanted to make a phone stand and to sell it, then I'm going to be thinking, who are my customers? What do they want? Do they want something small they can take with them? Do they want something big? So who is, who's going to buy it? I'm, this, me. When? Now in terms of this project, you know, you could say when, you could say next week. Um, for these projects, again, don't really worry about the time. Just do it, do what you can, do what you want to do on it, and we'll give you feedback on it. But in the real world, you'll have deadlines. When is this needed by? If this is, if I need this in six months from now, then I can take time, I can flush out a lot of design ideas. If I need this in two days, I have to get moving on it, I'm not going to be spending as much time on everything. So when, let's say one week. Where? Where might I use this phone stand? If I am going to be using my phone stand on the beach or something, I will. if I make it out of cardboard and I bring that to the windy beach, that's just going to blow away. So where is it going to be used? Things like that. Uh, why? Why are we making something? Is it a school project? Is it, are you doing it just because you like doing it? Are you doing it to make money? So things like that. So let's say we're doing this for money. And then lastly, how? How are we going to make this? We're going to be using household materials. Maybe cardboard. Maybe paper. Tape. Things like that. So there's all my questions. Again, you're not going to get all those answers right away, but you'll get those answers. You'll think about them as you go through the whole process. So now when it comes to designing, brainstorming. This is when you just take ideas and you just throw all of your ideas out on the piece of paper. Uh, there's one um, kind of design technique where you, you start sketching your object and you only sketch for about 30 to 45 seconds. Do not sketch any more than that. After that 30 seconds, you'll draw another one. After that 30 seconds, you'll draw another one. So let's say I want a phone stand. So I'm going to draw my phone right here. Let's say I want it to come down like that. These little parts sticking out. Again, this can be 2D, this can be 3D. So let's say that's the front and the side. So that's the side of my phone. You know, something like that. Holds my phone. Then maybe I'll come up with a different idea. You know, maybe I don't like this part, so let's change that a little bit. Maybe put a little hook on me there. Or maybe I want to. So if I do it like this, this part might fall over. So let's put it like that. That's my phone. So you can see I'm going really quickly. I'm not really taking much time. I just came up with a quick idea, used what I liked about that, got rid of what I didn't like. And so you see just really quickly, you went from this idea to that idea, and this is all the side view, the front. So, that's just a couple of ideas for brainstorming. Then as you go through and build it, 
you might come across things. So when you build your prototype, so as you do your prototype, you'll think about what kind of issues, what kind of problems come up. So if I was to build this one, one thing I can see right away, if I have my phone right here, and I have this button, so that button is right here. That button is right here. That button's gonna be very hard to press if I need to. So maybe I can cut it out right there. So you'll see as you make your prototype, there's some different things that will come up. That's actually what happened with this one right here. It's my first design. Say my button is right here. Well, as soon as I put that in my phone stand, I can't press that button anymore. If I make a little cutout, I can press that button. So, just some things to think about as you go along the process. Again, it's you know you come up with ideas, you work on those ideas. Um, yeah, you know, as you get in more in design, so. I carry around this little book with me when I go places. So if I just come up with a quick little design, you know, I, hey, that's uh, some chair designs right there. So it's just pages and pages of just, so right here, I'm trying to come up with a table. Came up with the design. I liked some of that. Some of that I didn't, so I changed the design a little bit more. I like some of that, some of that I didn't. So I further refine it all, further refine it all, define everything. So design, product design. So we're making a phone stand. Let's, let's make an awesome phone stand. So send me your ideas. Let me know if you need any help. We'll get through this. We'll have some fun. All right.